What is going on guys and welcome back to another Ross Reviews where today we are in something so, so special. This is a Scott McLaughlin SM17 Mustang and this thing is just about as crazy as crazy is ever gonna get. The numbers. 775 horsepower out of this five liter supercharged V8, 610 pound foot of torque, rear wheel drive, and we got a six speed manual. This is basically the Mustang R spec on another level. And let me tell you, it's insane. <laughs> So just how this car has come into creation is Scott McLaughlin winning the supercar championship and then retiring essentially to go into the Indy cars. And you know what? He said, let's build something insane. <laughs> and he did alongside her rod, which is just a phenomenal, phenomenal tuner and parts supplier here in Australia. And the stuff they did already with the R-Spec when that car came out, if you wanna see our review on that, you can click the link in the below. It's just absolutely insane that they could even go further and they have. And you know, this car, it just speaks for itself. You look under that bonnet, this just huge three liter red supercharger on top of this five liter V8, it is just absolutely insane. And the fact, you know, this thing is a world's first in terms of just the sheer size of this thing, it's absolutely insane. And, you know, I have driven quite a few cars that are on this caliber, including, you know, we've had the Trackhawk on the channel before. So you had that Hellcat SRT engine, which was absolutely a fan favorite of mine. We did previously do the R-Spec Mustang again, and this is gonna to top it, definitely is. Now, just in terms of handling with this SM17, it's absolutely great because her rod have, of course, gone to town with the suspension of this vehicle. They've lowered it, has a very nice stance, super aggressive. They've got adjustable sway bars on this and they have given the Magneride suspension a bit of a tune slash calibration here. So, you know, they have put their own flare on it and, you know, in the corners here, it's tight, it's playful, and my goodness, you know, this thing is an absolute weapon. It really is. The six-speed manual just feels absolutely incredible as well. And just the wine out of that three liter supercharger is just so good. And the exhaust system fitted to this car, it barks, it really screams. Now what is keeping all of this SM17 to the ground are some beautiful, beautiful 20 inch wheels we've got here they are absolutely gorgeous on this car the brakes have been upgraded on this particular one a standard sm17 would just have regular brembos that were on a mustang this has been upgraded so we do have six pot brembos up the front now four pot in the rear and boy do these brakes hook you up well we've also got michelin pilot sport 4s's all around on this car 275 at the front and 305s at the rear this thing hooks up Now let's just talk about price quickly here because this thing, as you would imagine, isn't gonna be that cheap. And Herod slash Ford have been very hush about actually what they're charging people for these because due to covert and, and all the implications with the car market, you know, the prices have been fluctuating depending on who you are and when you bought one. So these, at the moment, are meant to be somewhere around that 
130,000, $140,000 mark. And you know, that might sound like a huge amount of money. It is a lot of money, but this is a staggering amount of car for what you are getting. That dollar earns you a huge punch. It really does. I think for anything sub 150, you know, you're talking pretty damn good value. Just some of the subtle details you've got in this cabin as well is, you know, you've got these beautiful leather seats. These are Italian leather. They've got SM17 embroidered onto them and heated, cooled, very comfortable. And they still do support you pretty well in here when you're going around the corners. You got this gorgeous Alcantara wrapped Herod wheel. It's a flat bottom. It's got that red stripe down the middle so you know exactly where you're going here. And just the feel of it, the, the wheel, the connection, it's great. Oh my goodness, and that supercharger sound is bloody fantastic. And just when you look at this thing on paper, the stats this thing puts out, Hellcat, we're, we got more power than that. You know, the GT500, we got more power than that. The ZL1 Camaro, we got a bootload more power than that. You know, even just European cars that people aspire to get to here, you know, the M4 competition, we just shatter that thing out the water. And again, when you look at even the C63S, the AMG, you're gonna spend 200 grand to get a well-kitted one out, used, and the thing only makes 500 horsepower. This thing absolutely destroys it. And you know, you're saving yourself $60,000. And I don't know about you, but I'm taking this thing over one of those C63Ss every damn day because six speed manual, rear wheel drive, supercharged power here. And this is, this is it guys. This is absolutely, the pinnacle of Mustang performance, that Whipple supercharger. Oh, it just hauls. And this thing absolutely loves the big open road. Oh, it does. <laughs> I could do that all day. i tell you what, and Really, this is the epitome of just American muscle with Australian modifications. Now, just before we continue with this SM17 Mustang review, guys, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell notification so you do get updated on all our weekly uploads. And, mate, what else can we say? This thing is an absolute missile. Now, unfortunately, the SM17 is only limited to 80 units worldwide. And Australia getting 50, New Zealand is getting 30. And that's it, unfortunately. I believe they were trying to make more of these, but due to COVID and the lack of computer chips, I think it is why we can't get any new stock of vehicles, they did have to drop that number down. And this particular one is number 32 of the 50 for Australia. and. Man, to, to, this thing is just so special. Anyone lucky enough to get a hold of one of these things is just instantly winning. It's just, it's gonna be one of those special cars forever. It just is. Now, zero to 100 guys, I absolutely have no idea what this thing is claimed at even. You know, there is quite limited information on this car. And, you know, being such a ridiculous level, we are in a six speed manual, you know, it's driver skill here guys. So. If I get a bad time, don't take it out personally on me here. Um, obviously, you know, I'm a, a huge fan of the owner and I definitely do not want to hurt his pride and joy here. So we are just going to take it very easy. Um, we are in normal mode. We're going to have a look here because we do have some track apps here, which we can do an acceleration timer, zero to 100 as well. Let's hit that and pop her in first. Now, we definitely could have done better. We did bog a little bit at the start. 
and we pulled up a 5.1 based on the gauge cluster here and you know what I mean like we are in a six-speed manual so getting anything around five seconds I think is a win and look if Scott McLaughlin was behind the wheel I'm pretty sure he could get this thing tempting the threes I'm gonna say that because this thing is an absolute beast and yeah we did have traction control off there too guys man this thing is wicked so yeah let's have a look what the draggy did say though now zero to 100 with the draggy we pulled up according to that a 5.3 so you know we're two tenths of a second here difference from what the gauge cluster was but traction control was off maybe there was like a little bit of slip in there so who knows but at the end of the day guys i am totally happy with that number something around five seconds in a manual first time in this car today 775 horsepower here guys so yeah it's uh it's absolutely ridiculous and with the right training and the right driver in here i guarantee you this thing would be pushing nearly in the threes i guarantee you that it is quick man so quick so in conclusion the sm17 is unlike any mustang you've seen before here in australia from that insanely big whipple supercharger to the huge 305s at the rear even down to just how easy the sm17 beast is to drive this mustang is far from your typical american crowd killer its only flaw are that so few will ever be built. America might still have the GT500, but I for one am proud to call the SM17 an Australian owned. Thanks for watching.